episode 99. We're finally here. Welcome back, guys, to some more TFC. I'm Mr. Envelope, doing some digging here in the museum area. Um, I'm trying to get everything at this Y level, where my mouse is, to grass. So we're going to have to take out all this stone. Definitely got to take out all this stone. And then we can start, you know, flattening things out. And then we can start doing some, hopefully, some interesting terraforming because we want to make this area look pretty for uh, a zoo. Oh, a zoo and like a, a garden type of thing. So we got to, or I want to show off all the different crops and stuff here. Maybe not plant them, but, you know, have the exhibit for the crops out here. And then for all the flowers, all the different foliage that we can get. And uh, a zoo for all the mobs. Because I, I think it would be realistic to trap some mobs here. Uh, we did some testing in some previous episodes with, like, catching fish and squid, and it seems like it's possible, so hopefully it'll work the same with the other mobs. But yeah, before we can get started with uh, any of that stuff, we gotta do some digging here. And I've just been uh, watching some uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe stuff. Uh, I finished Agent Carter, got through Iron Man 1 and 2, I watched Captain Marvel. Uh, now I'm looking for The Incredible Hulk, <laughs> so... Yeah, this is going to take a while. Hopefully I can watch a few movies and stuff and get get some good progress done, you know. I've been doing some thinking about how how long this series is going to go, you know, because, you know, we're, we're heading towards the end. Uh, I don't think we'll be done by episode 100, but I think it's definitely possible that we could. <laughs> um, we'll probably be wrapping things up soon, though, because how how much longer can this stuff really take? Uh, by the end of, or by the next, you know, big transition and stuff in time in this episode. <laughs> what did that even mean? In the next, like, big cut, uh, I'm hoping that this whole area will be completely ready to have mobs put in. Like, we'll have cages or whatever for all the different mobs, and then we'll have all of the different trees planted. That's my goal. And then we can do some, like, major details together when we come back, and... I'm hoping that we'll have all the different stone types put in place inside the museum. Oh, good jump. Good jump, me. <laughs> so, yeah, I got some work to do in between episodes. We're still waiting on this grass to finish spreading over here. I got it to come down here, but it won't It won't go this way. I don't have any torches on me. That sucks. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to get all the rest of the stone exhibits put into place. I'm pretty sure we have all the different stone stuff. We might be missing a few things, and once I get everything in the museum, I can uh, properly catalog everything. But, uh, yeah, I got some work to do. <laughs> like how the dogs are just chilling in here. Uh, I got some work to do. It's going to take some time, but I wanted to get the episode started because, uh, well, I want, I want you to see the before, and then hopefully the after will be something a little less checkerboardy <laughs> and stoned. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Just going to go ahead and finish this up. All right, it is done. We finished. It's over. <laughs> oh, God, that took so long. It took so long, and uh, I don't even know. I don't think it's enough room. <laughs> uh, but because of that, I've already thought ahead. I started expanding the area leading up to the museum. So we'll check that out in a second. But all of this is going to also be part of the museum we're gonna have the flower beds there and maybe even have some of the bushes on display over there i think that'll be the best way to do it and then we can just reserve this space here to holding all the different mobs there's not a whole lot in tfc but i want to make sure they all have some space and they're not just like crammed in little boxes because that would look pretty dumb <laughs> so this area will be for mobs both hostile and friendly and then uh, the path leading up to it will be all flowers. And then another thing I'm unsure of is if we should, like, turn this into dirt or, like, tilled soil. Uh, we can still plant the flowers on tilled soil. I, I tested that here. So, I don't know. Got a lot of things to work out, but hopefully we'll get something done by the end of the episode. Um, but yeah, check this out. The whole, you know, flower bed thing isn't, like, super fancy or anything. It's something I do all the time in like every Minecraft world <laughs> I've ever played in but um, I gotta say I think it's gonna look really cool once all the flowers and stuff are in place or even now just walking up to the museum looks super rad <laughs> I'm super digging this oh, I'm really happy 
Oh, but again, guys, it, it took such a long time to get this far. And I didn't just do um, all the terraforming stuff. Like, in fact, I'm still working on that. But I also went ahead and moved a lot more stuff into the museum. Uh, and that includes all of the stone types. So all the different granite things are right here. Gabbro stuff is right here. Uh, every every stone type is in here except for quartzite and rhyolite, I believe. Yeah, those two are the missing ones. And then granite and gabbro are missing two components for them. So, yeah, everything else is done, though. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. We made some good progress with all that uh, exploration we did early on. But yeah, as you can see, we got like a whole checklist and everything. Uh, this is a pretty cool thing from Bibliocraft, the clipboard. I've seen Ninny use this before in a old mod pack that he had. And I don't know if his was from Bibliocraft, but I'm, I'm assuming it was because I remember the UI looking very similar to this. But basically, it's like an in-game list we can have um, instead of me having to use a Google Doc like I've been using. So uh, it's much easier to reference everything in-game. But you can see all the things that we have done. I haven't uh, fully listed out everything that isn't done yet, but this is some pretty good progress. <laughs> We got all the leather stuff, wood types, which is great. I'm very happy we got all the wood stuff done. All the alcohols, armor sets, wool, clay stuff. It's all looking good. And the last thing I want to show off is uh, I went ahead and took some of your guys' suggestions. I chiseled these into stairs. And it definitely makes the place seem less cramped. So I'm very happy about that. And someone else suggested, uh, sorry, I forgot who, <laughs> uh, but someone else suggested that we put tablecloths onto the tables. I think that is a really cool idea, except I got to say, I'm not a fan of uh, the old uh, carpet textures and colors. And this looks uh, a little messy to me. So I think it's going to be best if we just keep the tablecloth or the tables without the whole cloth on it. Uh, plus, oops, <laughs> plus it'll save us some... Um, uh, wool resources that we need to use elsewhere. But thank you for the suggestion, everybody. I really much appreciate it. And I gotta say, this looks a lot better now that I've had some time away from it. Not the best bar, <laughs> but it's, it's a lot better than I originally thought. But, uh, yeah, progress is going really, really fast. Uh, <laughs> things are just constantly changing around here, and... It's pretty nuts. I mentioned at the very beginning, again, um, we could totally get everything done by episode 100. I'm not, I'm not saying that we will for sure do that. Uh oh, no, <laughs> I'm not saying that we'll for sure do that, but it's, it's still very possible. And, uh, I will say I want to get everything done by the end of February. So this series will end for sure by the end of February. Um, obviously something could come up where that doesn't happen, but that's, that's my new goal. Um, we'll for sure have an episode after this one. I don't know if we'll have one after that one, but there will be another episode of TFC season two from me. Oh God, I'm really struggling with these flower beds. They're not looking right. I tried doing uh, the whole sloppy bit, like how we did those ones in the back with the tulips right here, but it just looks like I don't know how to place down flowers or something. And it doesn't help that tulips are pretty ugly. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what to do. I do think I want to put a tree here, though. So let's go ahead and I guess let the tree grow first before we start doing any flower things. Uh, by the way, these are like all of the crop things that I want to put down. So we have all these different flower types, uh, the pumpkin, the jack-o'-lantern, there's three different grasses, tall grass, short grass, ferns, and then we have all the different bushes. Yeah, <laughs> a whole lot of stuff. And then all the fruit trees. And then if we do all the actual TFC trees, like plant at least one of each, I don't know. I think that would be smart for a museum, but it's going to look super ugly, so I kind of don't want to do that. Uh, I do want to plant some of these trees around here, though. I don't know what to do with this open area right here also. I feel like it's good for, like, a lake or something, but I don't want to build a little lake. <laughs> it's going to look ugly. So, yeah, not too sure what to put there. 
So while we wait for those trees to go, let's try to go ahead and come up with a, a little design for the mobs we got to capture. Went ahead and put everything in a list. So we got the zombies. I want to try to get a normal zombie and a villager zombie, but we'll see. Uh, regular skeleton and a wither skeleton. Those two will be in the same cage. And then creeper. <laughs> I want to try to get two creepers, you know, just to make it a little more challenging, I guess. And that's it for the hostile mobs. For the friendly mobs, we got the cow, the horse, donkey, mule. We'll probably put the horse, donkey, and mule all in the same pen. Cows will have their own. Sheep will have their own. Pig will have their own. Chicken and the rooster will have their own. And then we'll have two separate ponds for the squid and the fish. Uh, and then we'll have the wolves together as their own. And uh, I want to try to get a tamed wolf and a normal wolf. I'm hoping I can keep them in the same pen without them killing each other, but we'll see. <laughs> uh, so I want to get those two. And then for TFC mobs, we got the pheasant, the deer, and the bear. And then the fish. But yeah, that's about it. Uh, and that's why I wanted all the flowers over, the, over there. Because uh, <laughs> I don't think everything would have fit out over here. Unless we did it in some very ugly grid-like pattern. Um, so I think what we're doing is going to be good. Uh, by the time we're done building uh, these three containments for the hostile mobs... I think it'll be nighttime, so I should probably have some name tags on me. That nah, doesn't matter. We don't need to rush this. <laughs> uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and try to come up with something. So I have something in mind. Um, I think this will work for the hostile mobs and the bear. I want to try to make like little cave den types of things. Like obviously these are supposedly dangerous characters. Characters? Dangerous mobs. So I want it to be a little spooky. <laughs> Little, little bit creepy, little cave type of dungeon looking um, exhibit for these mobs. I know that's kind of strange for, I guess, a museum slash zoo, but that's going to be what I'm going for. I don't think this needs to be crazy big. In fact, I don't want it to be too deep because then we won't be able to see the mob uh, whenever we're walking through the exhibit. And I think this is an okay spot. I haven't, I haven't planned anything out uh, in this area. I have no idea what's going to go where and how much room everything's going to take. But I'm hoping that these cave-like exhibits can go up against this like cave or this uh, cliff right here and all this ugly terrain back here. That way we can kind of hide it <laughs> in a way. Um, but let, let's see. So that's kind of the idea I'm going for. And luckily we have all this dacite stone. So we can use as much of it as we want. Yeah, I don't know if this would be big enough because I want I want like pretty much this to be the window to look inside and then maybe we can extend it out just one more block. I'm hoping this is also possible that this can cave in. So we still got to be careful about that. Uh, I don't want to use any cobblestone up here to hopefully reduce the chance that we'll get some cave in going on. Um, but let's go ahead and put down. Oh, boy. I should have done this first. <laughs> Get rid of all the grass down here. Replace it with cobble. I don't mind the cobble on the ground or on the walls. I just don't want it on the ceiling. Forgot to add spiders to the list. But um, this is kind of what I'm going for. Uh, I Obviously, this is super ugly. Uh, we'll clean up the top with like some grass or something. Or maybe, maybe leave it open and stony like that. Hmm, not sure. But this is kind of the aesthetic pretty much inside, you know, super gross and ugly. Uh, I was meaning to change this for cobblestone. In fact, maybe we'll do a few spots, but I kind of dig having the the dirt there. I just hope that grass doesn't grow, which I think is very possible. <laughs> so, yeah. And maybe we can, like, you know, make a window for us to look inside with the, the fences. The zombies will probably, or whatever mob, will always try to escape, I would assume, but... You know, having a window like this should be fine. I don't think they'd be able to jump out. Oh, do we need to get like a baby zombie? Are those a thing? Those aren't a thing in TFC. Yeah, this should be fine. <laughs> I think we're good. I think this is uh, like exactly what I'm going for. And... I don't know. Maybe we can just kind of elongate this. Uh... <laughs> Man, this is super ugly. <laughs> Maybe we can, like, just extend it this way, have it connected, and then have the next 
exhibit be here? Oh, wow, I forgot about Enderman, too. Wow, there's a lot more hostile mobs uh, than I thought. All right, guys, we're running into some problems. So I thought we could name any mob in Terra Firma Craft. I thought as long as you had a name tag, you can just right click them and they'd be named because it worked with the squid. And I just assumed it would work on everyone else, but you can't. So I thought maybe it had to be something we can rope. Uh, we can't rope zombies, so that rules that out. Uh, my next idea is to just give them a new held item. And I'm not sure if this is going to work because these are terra firma craft zombies. They might work a little different than regular Minecraft zombies. So I'm trying to get the regular zombie to hold on to something. I got this guy to hold on to a stick and we're going to test if he despawns or not. But our mob farm might not work how we want. All right, guys. So it turns out we can only keep uh, the zombies and the skeletons in the museum. Uh, there's no way to name them. Putting them in minecarts doesn't do anything. Uh, I did some testing in a creative world. Uh, oddly enough, if you put a mob in a minecart and you unload the chunks, come back, uh, everything will disappear. The mob and the minecart. So, go figure. <laughs> but it doesn't work. We can only keep these guys because they're able to hold stuff. Uh, that actually does work. So, we'll be able to keep a zombie and a skeleton. And the wither skeleton and villager zombie. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I only built up three caves. So that's like almost perfect. We can have skeleton or zombie skeleton and the bear. So that'll be their exhibit. I brought some dirt over <laughs> so we can start uh, covering this up. Because man, this is super ugly. <laughs> very, very ugly. And honestly, I don't know if this is going to make it look much better. But I'm hoping it kind of does. But yeah, guys, I've been spending a little bit of time in my creative world uh, trying to figure out exactly how to make this area look good as a zoo because I had I have zero plans. <laughs> I've had no plans and I've just been kind of winging it as I go. Uh, this cave system. Yeah, I did not plan that. And I got to say, I'm pretty uh, er, I'm a little happy with how they look. Uh, I think they do look better when there's oh, my God, come on, please stay. I think they do look a little better when there's grass on top, but that's not really saying much. Um, these are going to still be a, a really big work in progress, I would say, as we have grass growing on top. Uh, could we... Should I put some right there? I do want some of the stone exposed, but I don't know. We'll see. So since we can't really progress with the hostile mob exhibit, like this is as far as we can really get... Um, <laughs> I think we're gonna go ahead and try to do something for the friendly mobs. Um, one thing I was kind of thinking of was to do like stables right here, but I don't think it's gonna look that great. So we're gonna kind of do a stable type of thing, but it's gonna mostly just be like a pen with slatted roofs, I guess. So we'll be able to store the, the cow, the pig and the sheep over here. And then I, I have this other kind of like enclosure designed. I kind of tested it out here, but I didn't like how it came out. I gave it another go in my creative world. And I think I made something that looks a little better, something that kind of fits the area more, but we're, we're, we're going to try to do that <laughs> and hopefully it's going to look good. So yeah, let me just go ahead and oh, I'm out of dirt. Rut row. Uh, <laughs> what do I do? Well, I, I guess we, we just stopped doing that. I know I have some more dirt scattered around uh, the base over here. I know there's like two more over here. There's two more barrels worth of dirt over here. There's a couple in the new orchard area. So, uh, man, might have to go dirt digging. That kind of sucks. Uh, but what was I saying? We're going to do a, a little pen thing over here. So let's do that together really quick. We don't have much time in the episode because I'm terrible with this time management stuff so pretty much this is it uh, I tried something but then it looked like garbage so I got frustrated and went to my creative world uh, as I do <laughs> and then uh, I came up with something that was pretty much the same but I think I liked it a little more so we're gonna have slabs going all the way down just like this um, this will get slabbed off entirely 
and pretty much this is gonna go all the way across we got to be careful with these diorite bricks we don't have a lot of them everything in my inventory is i think all we have so <laughs> got to be a little careful and not waste them uh, but we're gonna go all the way to this pillar right here so we'll stop there these can go down these weren't part of the design they were just uh markers and the end product is gonna look something like this nothing crazy nothing wild but it's gonna get the job done i originally didn't want to have like square pens like this but I don't know. <laughs> I think this is going to be cool and it's going to look fine. So while we're up here, I wanted to fix this really quick. I'm pretty sure I can break this with no consequences. This is a piece of sand. That might fall if I break this. I don't know if there's anything on the other side supporting it. So let's pop that out. Okay, so far so good. And let's pop that. Also very good. Cool. Crisis averted. Go ahead and pop those out. We can put the piece of sand back and everything is fixed. I am a hero. Okay, so let's get down. <laughs> uh, this should be fine. Um, I don't know if we're going to do any other kind of pens like this. I think we're just going to keep the cow, the pig, and the sheep like in these ones. Um, unless we make it the horse, mule, and donkey. Now nah, let's go with the original plan. Chicken, cow, sheep. I keep changing the order, but you know what I mean. Uh, I found a little bit of dirt, so we can kind of get an idea of what I was trying to do here. I'll definitely clean this up, but I just wanted to have something jet out right here so it wasn't perfectly flat everywhere because that was driving me nuts. And then I think we're going to do a little pond right here. And I'm thinking we're going to keep the fish and the squid in the same area. Uh, just to conserve space, and that's pretty much it. Uh, so, over here, this might kind of suck, but this also might be the best time to do this. I think I want to swap this guy out, and I want to keep the bear in here, because it's a little more roomy in here, so... Hey, come on, guy. Alright, so back to what I was saying. Uh, I want the zombie over there so we can keep the bear over here, because we're going to do a weird kind of pen over here. We're going to go ahead and do it and try it. And I want to have uh, the pheasants here and then the deer over there. Or vice versa, one or the other. Uh, <laughs> so let's go ahead and do one of these really quick. I hope it doesn't take too much time. But basically, uh, I need to go get some stuff. <laughs> Something like this. So we're going to go ahead and continue the granite um, color scheme for uh, structures over here. These are technically structures, but I figure since they're caves, they can go ahead and match the surrounding stone. Um, but these are going to be granite, and we might do like two or three more of these, but the idea is very simple. Uh, it's kind of inspired by uh, Avatar, The Last Airbender. There was, in the saddest episode, Tales of Ba Sing Se, there was an episode where Aang corrals a whole bunch of animals... Uh, to the outskirts of the city. And he makes them like a, a really quick zoo. Out of just shaping in a bunch of holes in the ground pretty much. And that's going to be what we do here. So we got... Oh, I bungled up. <laughs> we got these stone outlines. And we're going to just pretty much dig a hole. Dig a hole for the animals to chill in. It seems super bizarre, and it's not the prettiest thing, but I think this is going to work. I tried this earlier, and I didn't like it at all, but once I actually made it in creative, like the full thing, I thought it looked okay. It was definitely passable, and I think it's going to work. It's going to be different. That's, that's my biggest reason for wanting to do something like this. Uh-huh. I think this is pretty good. Uh, it's... <laughs> Okay, well, it's not like the best thing in the world, but I think for what it is, this is going to definitely do the job. And it's a lot more interesting than just having a perfect square like those are pretty much. Um, and this is going to be where we'll put the deer or whatever TFC mob. Uh, we'll maybe put like another one over here. And then I think one more because we have what mobs to do. Oh, we got to take those off. Let's go ahead and just put X's over those because we can't have them. <laughs> That's sad. Um, the pheasant, the deer, the fish. Okay, yeah, so just the pheasant and the deer need to have pens like this. 
And that's it. I think the uh, vanilla mob should have more traditional pens or something. I don't know. I'll, I'll work on something in between episodes, but I'm digging this. Oh, and while I was working on that, uh, I got a regular zombie to pick up my hammer. So now he's chilling with this guy. Zombies are done. We, we picked up the zombies. <laughs> That's awesome. But that is going to have to be it for this episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Is that what the chisel looks like? That is so weird. <laughs> Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please let me know what you think of the pens that we've made. Some of them are kind of weird, the caves. And uh, some of them are also weird, this pit. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. A lot of them are very different. And I feel like they don't quite match up or go together. And they don't really go with the museum. What a weird project we've been working on. <laughs> but let me know what you guys think. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you want to see more so you don't miss the end of the series and you don't miss any future projects that we do together. I'm Mr. Envelope. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye-bye.